Hello everyone, and uh, today I received uh, a new helmet. This is the basically tenth helmet in the collection, and it is a very interesting one to own at least. Um, and yes, I said tenth helmet as you might have seen on different community posts. I put uh, my eyes on it is a helmet, so that's a hint. Without well, any further ado. Here it is. This is probably one of the most iconic helmets of all time. The Stahlhelm. Yes, this is a Stahlhelm model of 1942. Ooh. That's one of the faults of it. There goes a washer. Uh, but let me explain this. So, that's a Stahlhelm model of 1942. Probably one of the most iconic models of the Second World War. Or just any Stahlhelm, the model 1935, the model 1940, and this one. The model of 1942. And I'm just going to explain this now. I have a very rare one. So, here it is. Schnellhelm model 1942. There is no liner. Um, this thing was caked in rust. And I thought, you know what? Let's clean it up. And I cleaned it up a bit and it looks much more nicer. We may get a, another clean on Monday. As I actually have some plans for this helmet. Um, so, what are my plans? My plan is, this is going to be a restored helmet. Uh, why? Well, reason being is because if I want to buy a good restored uh, helmet, I have to pay or for good original or original everything. I have to pay stupid amounts of money for them we're talking high or oh, top dollar value that's what we're talking about here top dollar me or you can buy these in a semi-relic condition with a no liner but just a whole bunch of rust for fairly cheap um and i bought this one for fairly cheap so i was actually quite ha i'm not quite happy with it There is no cracks whatsoever. There are no cracks, there are no holes. Hit from the vent holes. But it is a structurally sound helmet shell. And let me explain the rare part. So the rare part about this one is uh, this is the largest size. So when we talk about German helmet sizes, we normally think of the ET62, which is ET to manufacture. You think of size 62, you think of size 64, we think of size 66, even size 68. But there are two rare sizes, size 60 and size 70. This one, I compared it with my uh, M35. I took the liner out of the replica M35 and I stuck it in this one and it fit perfectly. So what does that mean? This is a size 70 shell. So that means a soldier during the war, he had a large head. And he needed this to protect it, to protect him from shrapnel. But of course, you might be thinking, what about all the pits and stuff? How are you gonna get rid of those? I'm not gonna get rid of the pitting. Pitting just by itself. I'm going to get rid of the rust now with the pitting. I'm going to keep that So when I get to a nice coat of paint You can still see the pitting of when it was a semi relic shell It's the worst along the skirt You see the rust is just eaten away at everything But some people are probably gonna hate me for restoring it 
but some people will probably gonna like my idea of restoring it. Because the only reason why we restore uh, helmets is so it allows a future generation who wants to do reenacting and stuff to have uh, the item instead of having to pay stupid amounts of money. So if I restore this, I can pass it down. And of course, restoring a shell gives it a new life. So I'm giving this helmet a new life. And yes, you might think, oh, why don't you just put it in? Why don't you just put it away and just keep it as a nice display piece? Um, I don't want to do that because it this helmet is too good of condition, and I've just lost one of the split pins. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, but overall, I love this helmet. The split pins right over there. So just come and grab it. Uh, however, one of my issues is uh, with the helmet, here's a split pin, uh, so this is one of them, it's bent, it's also broken, <sighs> Jesus. Okay, seeing how it does want to focus on... Okay, there we go. No! Focus on that large thing here. Stop focusing on the floor. Focus here. Ah, oh, Jesus. But as you can see, there's a split pin and it's broken. Most people mistake these for rivets. These are not rivets. These are split pins, so just like the ones you had back in primary school, you can split both ends to hold it down to secure something. This would originally have a washer. Yes, these are called washers, and what you do is you take these two holes. I really hate that it's not focusing. There. So you take these two holes, and you would normally fit them on the two parts of the split pin so you do that you do that of course if this was perfectly straight and then you would fold each end down to secure the liner in place this m42 does not have a liner it retains split pins which i'm happy about but uh it does not retain the uh the nice German liner. So I'm quite sad about that. <sighs> but I think this will be a restoration project for me. And uh, yeah, if you want to hate me for all that, that's fine. And again, I'm not paying a stupid amount of money for all original everything. I want to use this one for when I do living history events and it also looks good on display rather than it getting eaten away by rust and creating more pitting but uh, that's my video on the M42 Stahlhelm I uh, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching